Hey folks, this is Justin here at Metcalf Mills bringing you Fun Fact Friday because this day and time facts are hard to come by. Now this week I've been working on a flue here at the house building a new chimney flue and I was talking in one of my videos about tying rebar and the tool that's used to do that is a tie twister and actually there's a couple different kinds of them that I have used in the past but I wanted to show you how that thing works today. I hope you enjoy. All right, folks, this is the ties that you use tying rebar. They're just loop ties. I got a loop on each end. And uh, this is a common type of tie twister. You just hook it through, wrap your wire tie around your rebar, hook this little hook through both loops, and just twist it up like that. Now this one, is it's a it's threaded inside and you just hook that through your two little loops after you put your tie around your rebar and just pull it and this comes out and the threads that are on it will cause it to twist so when you pull it out this thing will do all the twisting for you i'll show you how they work we got your two pieces of rebar here and the reason you tie rebar when you're doing footers or uh, any kind of foundation work where you have to pour concrete, most likely you need to reinforce that concrete with rebar of some kind, some size, depends on what the job is. But in a house, the footprint of it that goes all the way around the outside of the house, as well as through the middle sometimes, that footer has to have at least, depending on the engineering for it or the code requirements, it has to have two rows of rebar all the way around that. Now, you can't get one big, long piece of rebar that goes, so you have to join it up. And the way you do that is each end, you lap each, you lap each rod 16 inches past the, where the other one stops. So it's never less than 16-inch lap. Well, where that laps, you have to put it together. And the way you do that is you take your loop tie and you loop it around your rebar, just like that. All right, you've got your twister tool here. You just hook through both of those loops, just like that, and you just pull out and twist. And that will twist those two rebars together and hold them until that concrete's poured. Because if they're not together, you're going to have a weak spot there. It's not going to hold like it's supposed to. Now on this other twist tying tool, this wire twister, same thing. Put your wire tie around your rebar. Hook through both loops with the end on your tying tool here. Just like that. And you just, all you have to do is just pull that just like that and you can give it a double twist if you need to to tighten it on up see what a nice job it does tying that rebar show you that again here so you can see the gist of how it works Let's see here loop tie Hook it. Now just watch this as I pull this tie tool, the threaded part up through here, see? It causes that thing to twist. And that's where you get your twisting action. Just like that, see? Nice and tight now. There's both tools and that's how they work. And I done a lot of that. I started out prepping footers, I guess almost, yeah, almost 20 years ago. And I done it a long time from, you know, that was my business, uh, grading work, house seats, clearing, and putting in footers and retaining walls. So I've done that a lot, tied a lot of steel in the years that I worked. And I'm uh, glad to let these tools get a little rusty 
and do some grist mill work because that's what I love. I hope you enjoyed seeing how rebar is tied for concrete work today. It was good to get them tools out and share them with somebody. I hadn't used them in a pretty good while. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great weekend. Try to spend just a little bit of time watching Metcalf's Mills videos or spend a lot of time. That'd be great. I'll see you next time.